ABA President and CEO Peter Pantuso now joins us. Peter, there really are a number of awards at Marketplace, not just dealing with the motor coach industry, but other facets as well. Why is it important to be so inclusive? All of those publications have come together and said, let's use Marketplace as a way to recognize the industry, those who have given back, those who have provided exemplary service, those who are great operators, those who, who have done some, some, some amazing things within their profession. And so this year, I think we've got more than a half dozen awards that are going to be given to various people throughout the motor coach and travel industry, recognizing them for the good work that they do every single day and a chance for them to be recognized in their own particular niche areas of whatever that happens to be in the industry. Yeah, they're, they're you know, different operators, different members of the travel community have, have different niches that, that really are unique to their business and they're great models for the rest of the industry. You, know, you, can, you can learn so much from these individuals and how they run their businesses or their companies. So being able to recognize them, provide them from a, an award uh, that's being given by an independent group like some of the publishers who are out there really, really creates an atmosphere where this, this means something. This is important not only to the, those who are receiving it, but obviously it's an important award to the industry as well and to those who are in the industry. Once again, this year ABA and MCI are teaming up for an award concerning companies that do great work for the environment. Yeah, the, the Green Award that, that has been long supported by MCI that, that is done in conjunction with the ABA Environment Committee, University of Vermont, because they've got a, a green operator program in place, you know, that is, that is really a, a special award. It, it's been around for a few years, and it looks at the, the total not an environment, an, an environment in terms of the operating environment, but, but how these companies are really protecting the environment with many of the practices that they have. And it, it includes training, it includes the way they operate their buses, it includes the kind of fuel they buy, the kind of recycling programs they have in-house. So it's a great award. And this year for the first time in, in memory of our, our past, our lost colleague, uh, Norm Littler, we're gonna be giving a, a safety award recognizing uh, or in the name of, of Norm, who just did so much great work in the, in the safety environment. The calendar says we're just two months away from meeting in St. Louis for Marketplace. Yeah, everything looks great for, for Marketplace in St. Louis. I was just looking at the numbers yesterday. We're, we're just about on track with the same numbers that we had in Nashville, which was a record year for Marketplace. And I think it reaffirms the fact that no matter where Marketplace is, first of all, they're all great destinations and, and destinations that people really enjoy going to. And St. Louis is certainly no exception to that. It's an incredible destination. I think people are just gonna, gonna be excited when they get there to see all the new things that are going on downtown and around the city. Um, uh, but, but more importantly, or as importantly, the environment in which Marketplace happens, the business that gets done at Marketplace. Last year we showed that over $130 million in business got done as a direct result of being at Marketplace and every company that was there on average did about $80,000 worth of business for their company, a 30 to 1 return on the investment that they put into coming to Marketplace. So when you put, put all of those elements together, the Marketplace is a great place to do business and, and, and not only begin your business for the coming year, but also for years to come with the relationships you, that you develop. But it's also a great city to do business in. So coming to St. Louis and coming to Marketplace is gonna be first rate and people are excited to be there. Today at the Department of Transportation, on the day we're taping, you have a meeting at the Department of Transportation concerning companies that are being inspected. Yeah, we just, we're having a great meeting with, uh, with Annie Collins, and Annie Collins is in charge of field operations at the FMCSA. You know, we have, uh, have had a wonderful working relationship with her and with FMCSA, but one of the things we hear from our members is that there are a lot of inspections going on, a lot of them, you know, we think maybe done unfairly. I mean, some of the best companies in the country are, are, are being written up for things that, that are not safety violations by themselves or they're being continually uh, viewed and put under the microscope and, and when investigators come in, and, and the term is investigators as opposed to inspectors, they stick around and, and try to find something and they, and you know, if you, you stay at anybody's place long enough, you might find something, even though it's not necessarily what most of us think is a major safety violation, you find enough little, little things and, and eventually the company gets put, you know, in a, 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 as gets identified as a risk. And so that's one of the reasons we're meeting with Annie to talk about what her team does, what the state enforcement officials are doing, and if there's opportunities to change. You know, we think there should be inspections, 
but we think they should be done fairly. We also think the bad guys are the ones that should be targeted, not great companies who have a history of, of doing some amazing, amazing things and doing it safely every day.